Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to list all the files that the terminal is currently pointing to. So to do that, you just put the ls command and this lists everything. So this is currently in my home directory. In my thinking, there's a lot more files that are, you know, here. And I'll explain that in a, you know, moment. But as you see, a lot of the files and folders have appeared. So the blue ones are folders, you know, like Android. And then if we scroll down, we'll see the Google files as well. So, okay, why isn't everything appearing? It's because some of it's hidden files and we'll cover that in a second. But if you want to know more information about these files, what you can do is put ls-l. This will just provide more information. And let me just increase the size of this a second. So here we go. We have quite a few pieces of information. So let's just go through every single. I'm gonna maximize this. So let's go through every single piece of information. The first column represents the file type and the permission on the file. So where we only have you know, read permission, write permission, that sort of stuff. The second column, which is, you know, 331122, etc. This represents the number of memory blocks that have been required to, you know, store the file or directory. And then the next, the third column is the owner of the file. The fourth column is the group owner, which for me happens to be the same, may be different for you. The fifth column is the actual file size. So as you can see, these two sort of files are slightly bigger. And then the sixth column, this is the date and time when this was created or modified, you know, last. If you've created and never modified it, then it will be your creation date. If you've created it and modified it, then it will be your modification date and time. And the final one is just the actual name itself. Okay, so what else can we do? We can actually do quite a few things. So before we go into the hidden files thing a sec a second, what I want to do is open this again. And as you can see, we've got these two folders here, and they both begin with D. Oh, so maybe we just want to list everything that has, you know, some sort of pattern. And we can do that by putting ls, and if we put do asterisk, so this will say anything that has do, then some other text, list that but you will also list everything inside of it because if i go here and let me get this over here we go to documents we have development and we have the two files in there and if we go to download we have the two we have the file and the folder in there as well so that's a really really cool thing that we can do also like i said we've got all these hidden files we can just make them appear by doing this that is fine as well but we want to make everything appear in that folder and if we want to make literally everything appear let me clear the screen we put ls dash a and this makes this shows literally every single thing so every single file and folder is now listed and that is it that's all there is to listing all the files and folders of your current directory that you are pointed to if you have any questions feel free to let me know as usual these tutorials are usable i'm using ubuntu but you could be using some other linux distro you could be using mac because that is also a unix like kernel system and a lot of the commands, in all fairness, will work on Windows as well. Not all of them, but some of them will. But actually, now considering Windows has, you know, the Linux bash shell support, literally all of them will work. So you're all covered. Like I said, any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.